Hello everyone. I just wanted to give you a quick, I just did a blog post on how to save or how to uh, translate your the content on your website into a multi-language website. And a lot of people already know about uh, how to translate uh, content on their sites, but a lot of people don't. So this is for people who are beginners and um, there's a tool that Google has for any website called Google Translate and you'll see that over here uh, on the right side of my website so if you have uh, content and you want to share it with the world I think it's a good idea to add tools like this to your website so that uh, others can read it because if you get someone who comes to your site who's from another country they're just gonna click away because they don't understand what it is and the whole goal of building a website is to share it with everybody so that you can have more visitors uh, eventually have those visitors uh, become you know your email subscribers or whatever it is your goal is with your website uh, is to do so this is a great tool this Google Translate tool so I'm gonna show you how to go about getting that uh, I'm gonna go and do let me just go directly to the website it's translate dot google dot com and then when you get to um, that page you'll see uh, if I were to type in here how to translate a website how to translate a website um, what you'll see over here originally it's now it's it's in the English form but as you can see if you look over here to the right you can translate that to Spanish that's saying so that's what this text is now saying in Spanish over here you can do it in Arabic you can do it in any kind of language that you want just find this little button here and then come in and select the language that you want that to be uh, you can do it in let's see Filipino let's see let's try um, uh, let's do Russian so that's what it looks like in Russian and so forth and so on and and so Google they understand that while people are searching they want to be multicultural for their their content as well because they're all over the world and they sell products to all these people to all these different countries and they want to be able to do that and the only way to do that is to be able to translate their content so if Google is doing something like that you should do something like that as well with your website and that's not the only tool uh, that you can use for that there is some there's a tool that Yahoo used to have called Yahoo Babble I think it was called Yahoo Babble fish translator so let's see if we can let's just Google that and see if we can find it. I, I, I had it up earlier so let's type in Yahoo Babble and then you can see it coming up the rest of it is there so it's Babble fish translator so I'm gonna select that and uh, I'm gonna come down here Let's see. Now they call it Bing's translator. And we could go directly to it, but let's see what it used to be. Right here they say welcoming Yahoo Babblefish users. That means that on May 30th they changed it over uh, just recently. We are pleased to welcome Yahoo Babblefish users because now Bing owns Yahoo basically. So um, they are, you know, trying to brand their name now. So now they're calling it Bing Translator. So let's click on it and go inside. Oh, and now you can see it looks exactly like um, uh, uh, like Google's Translator. So I'm going to type in that same message, how to translate a website. And you don't see it auto-detecting. Well, it auto-detected as English, but it doesn't do um, any... They didn't have the, the, the presets over here like you, like you saw before. And that's only because I used them before on the Google site but you can still do the same thing you can translate it auto detected that it's English you can set it for English if you want but it auto detects it which is cool and so now I want to translate that to let's say uh, let's just say Romanian and then I have to hit the translate button and then you see it translated here so if you want to add that same uh, tool to your website what you would do is you'd come down here for where it says uh, enhance web page enhance the web page widget 
with powerful collaborative features and so forth and so on. So you click here. And then what it's going to ask you for is the site address. Otherwise, it won't work. So they want to, I guess they, they want to be in control of where their, their tools are. Google does the same thing, but they, I think they just do, do theirs automatically. So if I want to put this on my website, I have to come in here and type in uh, create a website plan. And then, um, so create a website plan.com. I can change the color of it. You can select any one of these. Um, I'm the type of person I would just go with the regular gray because I don't I don't really want it to stand out. I don't want it to be like something that's like an eye catching thing, um, unless it just has to be that way. So I don't think it has to be that way. So I'm going to select that, and uh, I can make it longer if I want. I want to go out this way with it. There's really no need for it to do to go out that long. So as long as it's here, and um, then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to agree to their to their uh, um, their rules and regulations. Everybody has those terms of use. Uh, it's always good to you have to select that because they have to protect themselves if something goes wrong and you're using it in the wrong way. So then you just hit generate code and you scroll down and you'll see all this ugly looking code here. Don't try to figure this out if you don't understand HTML coding. It's not worth it. There's a lot of stuff in here that you just won't be able to understand. Just know that this code works inside an HTML page. So uh, it's just the language of the web, basically. So if I came in back in here, let's say, for instance, um, I want to add that to, I want to add it to my website. So I'm going to come in here. Oops. Let's do it like this. Uh, and then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say WP. And this is for all, uh, what do you call them? All um, websites that are, that are built with uh, WordPress. So actually, I already had it logged in there, so I'm already back in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find uh, what they call a widget. These are the things that you use as you're building a website in um, in WordPress. So you come here and you look for the widgets, and there it is. I select that, and it's going to give me all these different widgets that I can use. I don't I don't ever use all of these. I just I look for the one that will give me the leverage that I need to do what I'm trying to do. Here's some that I've used before in the past. They're not important. Um, I I may use them again. I may not. But that's, that's where you put them if you want to save them. But what I want is an arbitrary text or HTML box. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to drag it over here. And I'm going to put it just under where it says interesting articles. And then I'm going to click inside and I'm going to paste that code in that I copied before that was all ugly. And you can see my name in here, create a website plan, so forth and so on, blah, blah, blah. And then you hit save. And then you hit close. And then if you come up and you view the website, if I click on this to view the website, and I, I see the Google uh, Translator is still here, and I'm going to scroll down, and you see it already changed my, my content because, and I'll tell you why when we get down to the bottom, because when I selected it, I left it in the Spanish mode. And so now it just translated it automatically. It's thinking, oh, it's in the Spanish mode. And uh, so let me just translate it that way. It says original here, but it was it was in the Spanish mode. I saw that when I when I selected it. And if you really wanted to check that, you can go back and check the. Um, I can go back here. Let's see. I can go back one. And I can go into that widget and see. If, see, this is the stuff you don't really ever want to get involved with. So when you select that widget, just make sure it's set on English or whatever your website is. But in here, it's got to say Spanish somewhere in order for it to change over like that. Uh, I don't see it here. Not important. So let's close that. Uh, and let's see. Let's go back to the website. And uh, so that's how you translate content on your website. So I'm going to change this. Let's see if this over. Let's see if Google overrides that with like um, Croatian language and see what happens. 
It looks like it's. It looks like it did. Huh. Very interesting. Mucho mucho más. Mucho mucho más. That's still Spanish. Anyway, there's some code issues going on here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go back into my site, and I'm going to get rid of. Uh, I'm going to take the the translator off that that I put on for Microsoft. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this one, and then I'm going to go back to the web page and see what happens. And it says here. See now that's Croatian, so that means that this is overriding that. And I want to go back to English. And now it's back to English. See, get expert, blah blah blah, so forth and so on. And so that's how that tool works. It's actually a really great tool. So when somebody comes to your site that speaks um, Hebrew, let's try Hebrew. Uh oh, it didn't work. Okay, let's try it again. There we go. So now. It's translating this. It has a hard time. For some reason, it slows up your translation in progress. I'm not sure why it's going slow. Let's try Russian. I may end up having to go and get this code again because for some reason, it's not working the way that it should work. So let's clear the uh, let's clear the cookies out. So we'll come up here and delete browsing. I'm going to go back up to English. Yeah, very interesting. Here we go. English. It's back to English here. Translation in progress. That's taking a really long time. I don't understand why it's taking that long. It shouldn't take that long. But in any event, that's what you would add to your website. Uh, and I have to figure out these issues before I go any further. Because when people come to my site, I don't want it to take that long to translate the content on my website. That's really taking way too long. But anyway, so you get the, the general idea of how that works. And so always add stuff to your website that um, helps the visitors when they come to your website to want to stick around and enjoy your content. So. I hope that lesson was helpful and uh, I'll be making more videos. I'm actually going to make a video on how to build websites uh, using um, Dreamweaver and um, other softwares as well. So keep that in mind. Um, manage translation for this site. There's some filter on or something that's not working on here. But anyway, I'll figure that out later uh, and I will see you uh, on the next video. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching.